Oh, this show just went to crap. We'll get into it right after this. Uh, the Good Fight Season 5, Episode 1. Yes, The Good Fight is back after abruptly ending last season with a mere seven episodes. It's finally back. Uh, we could calm down and such a major fan disappointment. Uh, two of my favorite characters, Adrian uh, and Luca, played by uh, Jumbo Kush or whatever. I don't know their real name. I, I don't want to pronounce it again. But uh, Luca, Adrian, Boseman are are exiting the seas, uh, the series, and it makes me wonder where what direction they're going to take place. Uh, it's already um, a super left show as it is uh, with women. At the helm now, it's going to become like a feminist left show. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know, man. But uh, the, the the show pretty much was uh, doing a recap of everything that happened in 2020 that took place uh, prior to the pandemic, during the pandemic, and in the aftermath after the pandemic. And, uh, you know, it was just showing how they all settled into their respective roles of what was going on. Uh, Adrian was supposed to be getting vetted to be in a Democratic uh, party to be in, uh, I don't think, I think he was running for governor or something. I forget what he was running for exactly. But uh, he's getting vetted to do that. And, um, you know, that was part of the reason last season that he was supposed to be the party. But then there was a shift change with everything that's going on. And, uh, you know, the, the, the murder of George Floyd, uh, I guess, it, it tainted his opinion on where he need to be. And uh, they wanted him to write a, like a watered down book, um, you know, kind of like a precursor to him coming out in the Democratic Party. But he decided not to after seeing uh, everything that was going on in the country. And then uh, obviously, I guess he's going to Atlanta for some reason that they don't really specify as to what. Uh, Jay, private investigator, is the one. Uh, he's another one of my favorite characters. He winds up getting the, the COVID out of everybody. He's the first one to get the COVID. They show him in the hospital. He got tubes all in him, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, he's not looking too good. I didn't know if Jay was going to make it. I thought he was about to take my man out. Uh, but he wind up pulling through. Uh, not before having some interesting conversations with uh, Frederick Douglass, uh, Malcolm X, and um, who else was there? Uh, uh, I forget who else was there. <laughs> it was a funny, it was funny ass scenes though. But he was talking to the people like, "Yo, what should I do?" And they're like, "Nothing you can do, like really." You know what I mean? Oh, Carl Max, uh, Black Jesus, and Malcolm X, and Frederick Douglass. Um, and they were just you know talking about pretty much current events and what he can do and blah blah blah. Uh, uh, the secretary wants to become a lawyer. I forget her name again. Um. I always forget her name. She wants to become a lawyer, so I'm pretty much sure they're gonna push her into a lawyer position, move her up, uh, give her character more to do. Um, and I think the reason that Luca exited because I, I don't think they just had much for her character to do anymore. Last season, they kind of pushed her to the wayside. They had her running around for this rich client, doing this, doing that, and uh, ultimately that's who she she decided to go work for. So, uh, I don't know, I guess maybe in real life she had a, a better opportunity and she decided to take it, but, you know, I don't think the show's going to be the same without her. And the same thing with Adrian. Adrian just got too big of a presence over there, man. He's just a smooth talker. Uh, but I like the fact that he did what he could to try to get his friend uh, Julian out of jail, uh, even if it meant messing up his love life because he was popping that judge. Like, he was he was banging them walls down, and she... Uh, she uh she uh, she he he did some sneaky shit and it wind up it wind up not working anyway. Well, it wind up getting her off the case. Uh, but Ju Julian wind up still getting jail time anyway. He got like seven years from a court a Trump appointed judge, and uh, so I guess it was in vain, pretty much. Uh, Diane is still being Diane. Uh, she has the opportunity to to speak in front of the Supreme Court, I believe. Uh, but then, you know, the judge that died in real life wind up passing, and they show her reaction to that, which I thought was pretty... I love Diane, too, man. I just don't know if Diane could carry the show. 
uh, by herself. And with the uh, the two ladies at the helm, um, the other lawyer. Uh, what are, why am I drawing blanks right here? Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Red, Bo, uh, Reddick. Her last name is Reddick. That's what I say. Uh, so she'll they they want to have an all woman firm now, and uh, we'll see. But a lot of the other higher ups don't want Diane in a position at all. They want to have an all minority firm, and they think they should get rid of Diane. So she's uh, Mrs. Reddick or Miss Reddick, um, Liz. That's her name, Liz. Shares the she doesn't know what to do because she got two options. Uh, ultimately, they kind of want to bring Luca in, but I, like I said, that didn't wind up working out. Uh, they also wanted to try to bring Bossman back in, but that didn't wind up working out. And uh, so we'll see how. And I think that's where the season. I think that's how the season will go. It's going to be kind of like Diane trying to prove her worth, why the other partners are trying to get her out of here, and then. Uh, Liz is going to be kind of caught in the middle of it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's pretty. I mean, it, Julian wind up getting pardoned because Trump pardoned all the uh, all his lack. I mean, all the supporters. So he wind up getting pardoned. Uh, and that, I mean, that was it. It wasn't really. It was just a filler episode. It was just a kind of like a recap episode of what everything that's been going on. And uh. It was crazy seeing how people had to adjust to, um, you know, the call, the pandemic era. Uh, you know, they had to lay off a lot of people. Uh, the secretary being one of them. Um, I didn't think they would lay her off, but the private investigator. I shouldn't call her secretary. She's a private investigator. Private investigator being one of them. And uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens, man. This I don't know. I just don't like the I don't like the direction they're going in, man. This is one of my favorite shows. Uh, I love this show. Um, I love how they incorporate, you know, cartoons and I like the intro. I, I love everything about how they do this show. It's just non. It's just not like traditional. And uh, we'll see what happens, man. Hey, I'm gonna be optimistic, but it just really rubbed me the wrong way that they getting rid of. Two of the uh, two of my favorites and two of the minority character, you know, black character. I ain't getting rid of the black character. But uh, we'll see what happens, man. Put your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, if I left anything out, I apologize. You know, I'm getting old. But uh, till next time, peace.